So Jada Pinkett Smith finally reveals that for the last seven years, her and Will Smith have been secretly separated. She admit this in her book, and um, we're going to go to the video on NBC News to see what she had to say. There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it right. because I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you... And Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. Neither let the public know they had already split. Go ahead and say um, it was probably Jada lobbying for y'all to not let no one that know that y'all had split because it made Red Table talk a lot of money because it was way more salacious being that y'all were still together and she's going through this entanglement with her son's friend, right? But if Will had been like, man, we separated. Everybody would be like, okay, but what, do whatever you're doing then. And then conveniently, now she wants to let everybody know at the release of her book to then get more publicity. And Will, you look like even more of a simp to have sat here through seven years of her embarrassing you when you could have just been like, man, we separate. I ain't. <laughs> All right, let's continue, man. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. I am. Except you're not sometimes. Yeah. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet. Mm -hmm. Still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah. how to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people, you know? And we hadn't figured that out. During our walk in Baltimore, Jada reflected on their breakup. Why did the relationship fracture? Oh, well, why it fractured? That, that's a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> She's still been in love with the ghost of Tupac all this time. <laughs> and I think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Oh. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through mm. whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. But you still live separately. We live separately. I have so wow. many questions. So do I. I have so many questions. It was <laughs> the guys, I have so many questions. <laughs> Yo, yo this is, women are so delusional. It just don't make no sense, man. We're still married. I made a promise to myself not to divorce, but we've been separated and smashing other people for seven years. But we're not divorced, though. This, this reminds me. <laughs> this reminds me of when I was in college, man. It was me, me and two of my homeboys. These three white girls, right? Shut up, Dr. Umar. This was back in the day, okay? But look at me, man. We kicking and laughing and joking in the dorm. And my homeboy and the one chick get the flame real flirty with each other, right? And he he cracked a joke about like smashing it or something, right? And she laughed too, but she like anything but the vagina though. And we like, <laughs> we like, hold on. We like, because <laughs> she was like, yeah, I have a boyfriend. So that's off limits. But anything else goes. We like, <laughs> we like, hold on. So it ain't cheating if you don't, as long as it ain't the vagina. Oh, no, no, it's not. And, and, and all three of them agreed, with, like, was like, yeah, yeah, of course. It's not cheating if you don't. I was like, boy, y'all are hilarious. You know what I'm saying? I felt, I, I didn't feel bad, but I, I, I was just amazed at this thought process. Like this is the type of delusion that is like, what are you talking about, Jay? That you 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 y'all been living separately or or on separate ends of the houses or whatever for seven years, and your whole thing is, well, we did this because we didn't want to get divorced. 
what are you holding on to? I, I don't understand. Like what train of thought is telling you that I mean, because if you're just going by the, you know, like, oh, I don't want to get divorced because the Bible says, that, like, I mean, you're technically still adultering. So what is the, <laughs> I don't really understand your thought process to this, nor do I understand why you would let the world look at y'all in this manner because y'all was trying to keep up a facade. Well, you ain't care about Will no way like that. Because it, it, it just all this furthermore lets me know you didn't really care about Will or how he's viewed or you didn't really hold him in high esteem. Because if you had, I mean, it's clear to see that as you doing all this entanglement stuff and you keep writing letters to Tupac and posting about Tupac every other two minutes. And <laughs> it just became clear that all this stuff is making Will look terrible he looks like the most emasculated dude that you know what i'm saying you gave him a look during the oscars and and, and knowing what i'm knowing now i'm like why ain't he just look back at you like <laughs> you know what i'm saying you gave him a look at the oscars which made him go into uh what's that what's that like the mk ultra he turned into like a little like he was being controlled by a more control uh, let me get up slap somebody and you did all of this, knowing that y'all were already separated, especially in that instance, because it was a joke that wasn't even that bad. It was actually a joke that was like, huh, that's a good idea. You're going through something, you got the short hair, but hey, G.I. Jane, boom, this would be a good idea for a new movie cast with a black woman. I thought it was a good idea. And I thought it was a soft joke and for y'all to react the way that y'all react. This just lets me know that you know, like people are now just playing out reality shows in real life, you know, because we know the reality shows are scripted as well. You know, they're planned and, and then made to look somewhat like reality. Y'all went to these lengths to act out that y'all family was still together. Because y'all are, I mean, but, but you know what? I mean, Will does seem like the type of person who cares about the persona more. You know what I'm saying? And look, this is understandable. It's like, it's I don't share much of my personal life because I don't want people all in your business. You know what I'm saying? It's like the celebrities, when they share about their relationships and marriages, this, that, and other. Every little TMI video I did today. Keep sharing, but then she's mad when people tune in and comment on it and have an opinion on it, right? So, and then it's like, you know, I also get partially about what the portrayal is because I, I carry myself a certain way on camera because I, I want society to kind of try to be better. So I try to promote that, even though I might be half a heathen in real life. I ain't, I ain't a fool one, though, just half. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on myself. You know what I'm saying? So I get to some extent why they did this, but I think they went way too far overboard with how they carried it out. So I kind of understand where they at with that. But then again, I don't understand because y'all spend so much time stirring up controversy around y'all relationship, letting people into it. You her having sex with her son's free and all this. And, and let's be clear, that in of itself is still not okay whether y'all was married or not. You shouldn't still, you still should not be hooking up with your son's friend. You dig what I'm saying? But it, it, it's just, I, I never understand why they was letting people so far, like she, why she kept stirring up this stuff, but it, it, you know what? It makes sense though. It makes sense because the more controversy she was stirring up without Will being able to respond by saying the truth that they were separated, it was more and more publicity and money for red table talk. And that just reaffirms what I've been saying. Like she, she didn't care about Will no way. She never held Will in high esteem. Not nowhere near what she held Tupac as she kept talking about him through all these years of their marriage or separation or whatever. So, you know, it just lets you know how she really feels about him. And and then it just says something to, to the public, too, like, quit holding these people in such high esteem and watching everything they're doing and trying to uh, look at people as couple goals and all that. Because in real life, their stuff is 
raggedy behind the scenes too, you know. But it is what people do. People put up Instagram reels of all the highlights in their life. You know what I'm saying? Life be raggedy as ever behind the, behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? All of us do this in some fab form or fashion. So it is what it is, man. But um, this is your boy P. Cam. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.